Hello friends, welcome to a new 3ds Max tutorial. This is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about the attach, attach multiple and the detach tools in, th uh, in edit poly. So let's uh, hit Alt W to maximize one of our windows and just create a box and let's get right in to the subject. Now, uh, what I uh, want to show you is we know how to convert a, an object to an edit poly now. Now, if we have a box, we can right click, convert to convert to editable poly. And now we have an editable poly object in here, as you can see. Let's say we want to join more models or more objects with this object. OK, let's uh, call this one. Let's change the name as well. And I want to show you something uh, in there as well. So let's change the name to object one. And now let's say we want to create a copy from this. You can see that this is called object one and this is called object two. OK, you can just type in two in here as well, or you can just change the uh, first name to zero zero one as well, whatever. Now we have two separate objects, but let's say I want to create a bridge between these two objects. I want to connect these somehow. Uh, I want to delete these faces in the middle and I want to connect the top edges together. You can't do that in uh, uh, when they are separate. The reason is if you go to the uh, polygon mode, you can see that you can delete this polygon, no problem, but you can't even select any sub objects from this object or even the object itself. The reason is when you are in a sub object mode in edit poly, 3ds Max locks the other objects in the scene so that you won't uh, select them by mistake. You can only select the object you are working on right now. So uh, at, for this example that I was talking about, you need to join these two objects together. You, they, they need to be one object so that we can just delete this face and join these two together. OK, so to do that, we have a command called attach. It's in here, as you can see, attach and detach. They are next to each other. And there's uh, the attach list button or attach multiple button in here. Uh, let's uh, see the first one now. I'm going to click on attach and just click on this object in here. And you can see that now they are one object. You can see, uh, recognize the selection brackets uh, stretched so that they contain the uh, two of these elements and the whole object rather. Now, if I right click, I can get out of the attach command and just select this face, delete it and go hit two to go to the edge mode. Uh, I can just select these. Uh, edges uh, with control. Uh, I made a multiple selection. Then you can do a bridge, for example. We're, we, we're going to talk about bridge um, more uh, in a later lesson, but for now, just hit bridge. And you can see that we have those two objects joined together. Okay. Now they're one object uh, or one element, even. If you go to the element mode and select this, you can see that they are uh, they are connected with each other. OK, even though you don't want to connect them, you can attach them, of course, uh, the, we have some use for that as well. Uh, but for now, let's just uh, see more theoretical stuff. A at the end of the lesson, I'm going to create a real object with uh, these uh, tools and you will be able to see uh, what they do even better. Let's get rid of this one and create a new box. Uh, I want to create different shapes now. I want to create a sphere, a cylinder, a torus even a teapot. And you will be able to see that uh, when I uh, convert this to edit poly, you can add an uh, edit poly modifier as well. It doesn't matter. And uh, if you hit attach, you can see that you can just click on these and they will all be joined together. You can also see the color of the object change to the main object as well. This means that they're connected together. It's a um, way of uh, seeing uh, which objects are joined together, I guess. Okay, again, if you hit four, you can uh, select and delete any of these uh, faces or objects. You can uh, think of these objects as one uh, amorph object and just play with whatever you want. If I hit one, I can just play with the vertices and everything. Okay. Okay. So that we have established uh, that you can uh, join objects with attach. Uh, let's see how we can detach objects. If we have more than one object joined together, let's attach these and see. 
uh, this time I'm going to use a modifier. You you will see that it doesn't really matter uh, with these two. Uh, now we have two objects joined with each other. If uh, if I select this, it will select this object. If I select this, it will select the same object because they are the same object now. And if you hit five, for example, to go to the element mode, you can select this and click on detach. And you can see that now they are separate objects. Okay. Uh, they, uh, the pivot point of the objects are in the, at the same location because uh, they uh, this object was detached from this one, so they have they share the same pivot point position at least. But you can change this, of course. If I just select this, go to hierarchy, effect pivot only, center to the object, you can see that this is a separate object, has a separate pivot point, and this is a separate object. It has a separate pivot point. Okay. Uh, we also have uh, some options in uh, detach. Let's see those. I'm going to just create some more of these. Uh, by the way, if you go to the element mode and select this element and hold shift and move this, then it will create an element. A um, it won't create a new object. It will create a new element in uh, under the same object. So you will you can have multiple elements under the same object uh, with this method as well. You can see that we have four diff separate elements so for different shapes under one object and it's called box one uh, okay let's see the uh, the settings for uh, the detach if i just do, uh, if i don't click on this but this in here the settings button you can see that you can name the detached object max doesn't need to call it just object one you can just name it uh, box one for example and you can see that we have this separate object called box one. Or let's check out some other settings in here. You can detach to element. Uh, it won't really matter for this. I'm going to show you uh, what this does uh, with a face selection because it detaches the object, uh, not as a new object, but as a new element. We will talk about this in a minute. Uh, but if th uh, this one is uh, very cool. If you detach as clone, it won't uh, delete the object from the original uh, it won't delete the element from the original object, but create a copy of it. If I just hit OK, you will see that I have a box in here. If I move this, I still have the original element in this object, but I have a separate uh, copy of it as well. Okay. Uh, what, uh, what use can this one have? Let me show you. It's very useful, actually. Uh, let's delete these as well. And you, let's say we are creating a table, for example, and this is the uh, bottom uh, of a leg. Like you have a softer material uh, under the at the bottom of the leg to, uh, for uh, the table not to damage the floor, I guess. And then you can just select this, detach, detach as clone, and then you can select the new uh, face. Hit three for the border mode and select the border. And if you hit hold shift and drag this up, you can see that you can create a separate object from that face and uh, we need to select this and flip the sides of this because they look inwards now they look outwards and you can see the color of the object as well and when you do this uh, after you do this if you select both of the objects and apply a chamfer modifier you can see that they have separate they look sep uh, as separate objects this is very important for us in render rendering because uh, when you have separate uh, materials, when you have separate objects, you want to make the viewer uh, see this uh, difference and these edges will uh, come very handy and that, uh, we will talk about that a lot. So <laughs> for now, let's leave it at that. Okay, so you can, uh, we, we also we said we want to talk about the detach uh, to elements. I'm going to hit four, select this face. And if you hit settings again and click on detach to element, then you will see that now this object is a separate element and this one is a separate element. And they are not welded together, as you can see. Okay. So you can use this as well. Okay. So uh, uh, one last um, thing, theoretical thing I want to show you is the attach list, which is the same with uh, attach, but it gives you a list and you can just select a bunch of objects. Uh, if you have a lot of objects like this, for example, if we have a uh, box, I want to just copy this, like create 50 copies, for example. And you can see that there are a lot of objects in here. So you, you don't want to just select them by clicking. Uh, 
uh, you can just choose one and then edit poly modifier click on attach list and you can see that it gives you a list and you can just select select the objects you want to attach from here and just if you hit attach you can see that we have a uh, joined object in here okay if you hit five you, you can see that these are separate elements but it's as a whole it's an uh, it's one object okay let's delete this okay now a uh, for a real example I uh, it's not very practical I, maybe if this was a um, if you wanted to model this model I want to I want to model a table a simple table by the way uh, maybe I wouldn't recommend you to do it like this but uh, I want to show you a way to use this with a simple model so uh, I don't want to confuse you even further so let me show you and we'll talk over that after we're done now first I want to create one leg for the chair by the way my units are left at meters I'm going to convert these to centimeters and uh, I'll select this uh, leg and I'm going to hit uh, uh, input some numbers 8 for the length 8 for the width and uh, 80 for the uh, height let's say and I want to move this to the origin let's create a copy uh, from this approximately 1.5 uh, meters and let's create a copy of these two at 1 meters for example I'm reading the value from down below by the way from here okay now I want to add an edit poly modifier uh, go to attach list and attach all these together and I'm going to hit 2 to go to the edge mode and then select all these edges I'm going to hit connect settings uh, we know what this does from the previous examples but uh, we are going to uh, get into this in more depth in later lessons but for now you can just hit connect settings and that's all uh, I want to slide these up hit ok and now I want to hit 4 and select this face hold control select this face and let's bridge them and you can see that they are joined or connected again for this side for this side and for this side okay now we can see that we have connected these let's uh, think of this as a uh, welded metal table uh, foot and maybe it will work that way uh, originally I would recommend you to draw boxes we know this from before but if they are welded maybe this will work as well uh, if I chamfer uh, the edges you can see that they are joined together you don't see a chamfer um, mark in here and uh, let's create the top plane uh, sorry box I'm going to input um, 170, 120 and for the height let's hit input for, uh, 4 uh, and to place this on top uh, let's make this a little bit thinner uh, to place this on top I'm going to hit Alt A which is align and I'm going to just click on the leg uh, in the Z axis I want the minimum point to go to the maximum point and hit OK and this way you can see that we have this table in here uh, let's <laughs> set the color to gray yeah okay uh, now you know how to attach or join uh, objects together and detach uh, them uh, from an object as well thanks for listening I hope this was useful if you find it useful please hit the like button hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button thanks for listening see you in the next lesson